Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your HP ProBook 455R G6 and of course you're gonna see what's going on inside of it as well and obviously you're gonna see how you can open it up. First things first you need a little screwdriver like I have there, Phillips screwdriver. Remove all the screws from the back panel. I'm gonna leave by the way I'm gonna leave the link in description as well if you're looking for a similar screwdriver like I'm using there. And the bottom two screws will come out fully, so keep them kind of safe. Don't lose them, they're the smaller ones. And once the screws are removed or loosened, uh, remove the back panel itself. After say now, this came off quite easy. I presume this was opened before. If not, that's fine as well. Like, But it, it came off quite easy. Less than 30 seconds it was off. There you go, there's a bit of a closer look now. Of course inside of it as well just in case you're looking for a similar part it's gonna be just uh, for reference now and whoa good news here we can upgrade ram we can upgrade m2 solid state drive and we can upgrade 2.5 inch solid state drive as well or add one there's a battery there is your uh, cpu fan and there's cpu itself won't see it obviously there is the Wi-Fi card and uh, there's two RAM slots here now as well uh, I'm gonna show you now in closer look in a few seconds so you're gonna see these parts closer that's M2 solid state drive and that's an empty you can add extra 2.5 inch solid state drive or ordinary drive whatever you have there there's a bit of a closer look now here there's your battery just in case you're looking for a spare part there's your CPU fan CPU is under there now as well and that's your Wi-Fi card and there's two RAM slots both TDR4 upgradable obviously there's your M2 Solid state drive. At the moment, there's 256 gigs in it, and that's your 2.5 inch drive as well, which is empty. And I'm gonna leave it empty. I'm not gonna put anything in there, but you have option there. Put extra storage. It's great. It's absolutely brilliant. You can upgrade. And before you start upgrading anything, uh, I do recommend re removing battery. There's only three screws, so just uh, screw them out and remove the battery, just for safety, that there'll be no shorts on the motherboard itself. So it's only maybe extra 30 seconds, but it could be well worth doing it. And battery comes out relatively easy, so. Still though, as I always say, they good gear, no panic, no rush. There is a closer look again on the battery itself as well. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna upgrade now is the RAM. At the moment there's 8GB in it. As you see, I'm gonna install 2 by 16 so in total this laptop will have 32 gigs of RAM. Awesome! Only thing is it's gonna be a bit slower RAM than this one was, but that's all I have, so that's all I can do. That's first. That's in and I'm gonna get the, take the second one now. Same one, 16 gigs as well, DDR4. And also I'm gonna leave the links in description, so if you're looking for a similar one, I'm gonna leave the faster one in the description as well, so if you look for faster RAM, you can buy it as well. There's your M2 drive. Drive itself is alright, it's just not uh, probably the biggest one, 256 gigs. So I'm gonna install one terabyte in there. That's it, that's the crucial, 1TB P3, good enough drive, loads of space of course, good boot time, 
can't complain. And it's quite budget as well, so it was $45 if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I don't remember exactly, it was cheap enough anyway. There, there it is now, closer look on that as well. Yep, that goes in and the little screw that you removed before that always keep the screws safe so you'll always find them again. There it is, really small. I have to say it's really hard to get in there. I know it sounds funny but it, it is. There it is, upgrading done, awesome. Battery can go back in and uh, of course before you can do anything you have to reinstall windows and all the drivers and this and that and then you're just up, up and running again also i'm gonna show you now in a few minutes once i have the laptop uh, put back together we're gonna just shortly now for 30 seconds i'm gonna put into windows and you're gonna see the specs there as well so you won't think i'm fooling you here it does work 32 gigs of ram and one terabyte solid state drive m2 solid state drive so that's it. Uh, put the screws back, three of them, and after that, back panel back as well, and you're good to go. Another probably 30 minutes before you're actually in the Windows, because Windows installation these days is quite fast. Especially with this laptop now. It, this, this laptop, sorry. It didn't take too long. And same way you took it out, put that back in again, you kind of have to, you, you hear the little clips, and screws will go back as well then. I'm gonna speed things up now in a minute like so otherwise it's gonna take ages to get to the actual window screen just make sure you push it nicely in you can see there's no openings between the or there's no caps between base and the laptop itself so you know it's in properly okay I'm gonna put the little screws back here now and then uh, close rest of them as well There we go, nearly there. Okay, in a second, we're gonna be in Windows and I'm gonna show you the specs, new specs of that laptop. Okay, go to this PC and right click on it and uh, you should see the specs there. There you go, you can see 32 gigs is there, it's working, yeah. So, pretty good. I don't know, can you do any more upgrading on it now? One terabyte and 32 gigs is probably enough for anything you want to do with it. These laptops are kind of mediocre anyway, so you won't be doing big editing or anything on it, so. There's a little detail now about the drive, one, one terabyte drive. Okay, that's it lads, guys, girls, boys. If that was helpful, subscribe, like the video, and have a good life. Bye bye.